What's going on, y'all? El Tosco here, and today I'll be bringing y'all a video of me finally getting my first ever loot. I've been playing Call of Duty since the first Modern Warfare 2, and it took me all the way to 2023 to finally get a loot. So here we go. Let's get to it. Peter Cottontail. Hardcore. I apologize if I sound nasally and congested. Um, I'm a little bit under the weather. So I'm gonna try my best to do this in-game con uh, commentary. So um, I believe Rust. This this Rust on Modern Warfare Three is probably one of the easiest maps to get a nuke a uh, nuke on or MGB. Cause I mean, you do have those platforms up there, and I'm not sitting there telling players to camp up there. And I'm not sitting there telling players to hide up there. I'm not. I just feel like. Since Rust is such a small map and it's congested and it's really, if you know what you're doing, you can get off even at the lower level. But since me, I'm really been nuke chasing. I'm really been trying to like grind to get a nuke. I just feel like I'm taking everything to my advantage to try to get a nuke. And uh, I really, 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 really honestly shouldn't have got a nuke. I was really fortunate and really lucky. Cause you gonna see like, see right there. I like I could have died, and cause I mean it's hardcore. You have low health. I should, probably should have died right there. And see, I'll probably I'm definitely gonna be gray screen the whole game. But um, I had literally plenty of chances to die on this map. And with that being said, I mean you as um, if you really play Call of Duty, you know players are really just like. Spamming the grenade launcher, and I honestly believe that grenade launcher should be a kill streak because it should not be in your. It should not be in a weapons class, because I mean players spam the fuck out of that motherfucker. And I just like, god damn, like, do you have any skill? Like, like, what's going on? Like, can you actually play the game where you just really relying on a grenade launcher to get kills? So, and um, since I I mainly play hardcore, like I don't like playing core. Like, I I rarely play core. Like. See, I was supposed to die right there, right then and there. Like that's it. That's that player's fault. He had bad, bad aiming. Like, like I feel like when you own that mid platform, like you're really exposed. Like, there's, I mean, yeah, you can get away in certain crevices and whatnot, and spaces and whatnot. But at the same time, all it takes is like I was sitting there saying earlier. All it takes is somebody to have a grenade launcher and then poof, you're dead. Like. And it's really crazy that Call of Duty really made it not, I mean, really didn't make it a, a kill streak. Secured two objectives. Enemy securing Bravo. And to be honest, like, I've been playing Rust so much this year. Like, I know where players spawn from. But I feel like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, like, the devs have, like, fucked up, like, these spawns because, like, you could sit there and capture B, and I mean, um, excuse me, if y'all don't know what I'm playing, I'm playing Domination. I didn't explain that first, so I apologize. But if you're playing Domination on Rust, and you capture like B or A or whatever, um, players can actually spawn behind you. Like, and to me, it's it's crazy that the devs haven't fixed that or haven't adjusted that or whatever. Because I feel like Players should only spawn from their flags, and I guess they're trying to they're trying to alleviate players being spawn trapped and whatnot. But at the same time, like if you really know how to play, you really know how to get off. Like you can get out of you you can get out of being spawn trapped. Like I know I know some people like I know some people just want to like a game that that could, could be easily played. But like I'm a competitor. Like I I, I want the best of the I want to play against the best of the best. Like I don't I don't want anything easy. Like that's just me. Like that is but uh as you can see I got the new kill streak, the swarm. So basically what the swarm kill streak does is just spawn a lar a large number of mosquito drones and they just fall from the sky and just basically explode on players and whatnot. And I think that helped out a lot because players are like I guess they're just like more worried about dodging the swarm instead of you know figuring out where I'm at. But then I'm pretty sure, like I mean, I am stationary in one spot. Like I'm not gonna sit there and say I'm just like actually in one spot. But I'm I'm on the mid level platform and I didn't leave. So 
it ain't like I was just, it ain't like I was just literally just moving around a lot. So, I mean, to me, it just was smart to have that kid streak going on because people were just running around trying to figure out how to, you know, evade the swarm and whatnot. But as you can see, like, I'm playing very strategic. Like, I know where the enemies are spawning from. And see, there you go. Like people, pe like I was saying earlier, people can respond. Or keep it, people can uh, spawn after behind you. So it's just like getting a nuke. I feel like yes, it takes skills, but at a, but at the same time, it's a lot of luck going into it because anything and everything can happen. And I don't want. I'm I'm trying not to repeat myself, but at the same time, like. It's anything can happen while you nuke chasing. Like it really can. So you gotta take everything into factor. Like when you grinding for a nuke, because I mean, try not to get frustrated. If you get killed. I mean, I know it's hard. Like especially when you never have one. I, I know like you probably just grinding and grinding and grinding and trying to figure out how to get one and whatnot. But at the same time, like if you patient, you you understand the map spawns. You understand. What's going on in the situation? Breathe. Like I think that was another tip that helped me was just breathing, like and just not getting too excited or not trying to rush kills because because you can rush into a kill and then say there's two players, you kill one, but if there's another one, they and like you pop out, shoot one of them, that other one could take you out. So I feel like you just really have to be strategic. You really have to be calm. You gotta hold your own po poise. And you just have, really just have to have a clear mind throughout the whole situation, because your feelings, your feelings and emotions can go hot, like really high. Like you be like, oh, okay, I'm getting close. Like when I was when I got to 20 kills, like I ain't gonna lie, my adrenaline levels went up. Like, but at the same time, I had to remind myself to stay calm, stay poised, make sure you make sure you take your time, because I mean, we wasn't that much into the game. When I got my nuke, but at the same time, like, I just feel like you just don't want to rush it. Let the moment come to you instead of you go chasing after the moment. Objectives. We're taking Bravo. We're losing Alpha. MGB. And there you have it, folks. Oh the MGB, nuke, whatever you want to call it. Finally. Um, man, like, it's been a long time coming, like. As a kid go, playing baby. this game, like how I always oh, wanted to get a nuke. Like Word I'm trying to tell you, like <laughs> when you feel like, when you, to me, getting the nuke is kind of like winning a Super Bowl ring for a Call of Duty player because it's just it is not it's not often that it happens. And then when you finally get one after you've been grinding and grinding and grinding and practicing and playing and all that shit. It just like God, Lee. Okay, it's I finally know what it feels to have a new. But you beating your dick, bro. Sometimes I'm gonna get off like here. I appreciate y'all for coming through and stopping oh, my by and viewing two, my content. Home. More content on the way. I just gotta get you feeling better. Game, and, uh, nah, you with that being touch. said, peace out. Catch y'all in the next video. Peace out. Oh my God. Who fuck? Oh my God. Ain't gonna lie, my nuts went back inside me right then and there.